Hey guys, this is Man Shark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, this is Crusader Kings 2, and this is episode 43 of our Long Live the King playthrough. We are Filkir Sigadar Ring, the immortal, quick, berserker, lunatic, depressed, cancer sufferer. And we are not at war with anybody. We were about to go raiding, I believe. These guys appear to be headed to Bremen? Yeah, probably so we can get them back on the boat. There are enough of them to go raiding properly, assuming we give them a decent commander. It's been a little while since I've done some recording. I've, uh, yeah, Bjorg, Gildo. Excellent. And they are in raiding mode. Let's put the, yeah, put those guys in the middle. All good. Excellent. Let's go raiding, boys. I assume that you're getting on... Ah, yep. Beautiful. Right, let's sort that out. Yeah, so as I was mentioning just before all of that... Oh, hang on. Normandale converted to Germanic. That's excellent. Where is my... She's an Argyll up here. Ah, yeah, that's all getting done. So she's up there. They're converting that and that, and probably the Isles as well. We'll go to war at some point, but... As before, everybody hates us. Yeah. Um, we are going to inspire some crusades, but before we get to that, let's get the raiding going. So just to quickly confirm something, they look like ripe targets. Let's go pay a visit to Venice again. <coughs> Apologies for the cough. Yes, uh, recently I've experienced a uh, significant bout of hay fever, so that's why my voice might seem a little bit different to some of you, ladies, and um, why it's been a while this time since I actually have done some recording. But today I found that I uploaded the last one in the list that I had, therefore I needed to um, do some more. Now, we were planning on holding... Shit, what were we planning on holding? Like, all of this stuff, right? Jod, Ostergotland, and Scania? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Currently got 12, but we also have bits of... Yeah, I think we're going to just skip Smeiland. Yeah, I think that made a bit more sense to me. Because, I mean, we are King of Denmark, so fuck it. We own those two. We need to get Halland back and give up Finland. Yeah, makes sense to me. So this guy, he's the only one that owns it. Um, I mean, sure, we could probably assassinate people until he eventually gives it to us. But, I mean, that wouldn't be too much fun. We probably can't plot against him properly or anything like that. Halland. Yeah, honestly not terribly sure. He's obviously not in the, um, the main list. So why can I not take Halland? I've probably done this before and I do apologise. It's not the held capital duchy of mine. It's not a count secondary county. It's not held by a duke who is not the du jour liege. And it's not a duchy with no du jour county under its holder. Well, that makes sense. Fuck it. He'll be fine. Yeah, so... We've got fret. That's annoying. It is decaying. Um, fortunately, that'll go away fairly soon. We really should get a tech advance at some point. But, I mean... Hang on. This kid needs a guardian. Already showed some propensity for the old... Uh, thing he wants it. Learning. Yeah, we should invest in economy, but I really should have investigated, but I haven't investigated because, uh, fuck it, i got uni work to do. Which of these four we really need to be improving first? We are, I mean, on one side of things we are losing out by not doing that, in that you can't spread tech from the capital unless it's fair. On the other side, we'll just get it at some point anyway. 
Now, we've actually hit the point where we can invest again just then, I think, in either light infantry, military organization, or siege craft. <coughs> Excuse me, still got the little old hay fever. I feel like military organization will give us more retinue, so we're going to go with that. And yep, that's pumped us up to a very nice amount. Now, currently we've got four shock regiments, I think. Yeah, one, two, three, four. They're all shock regiments. Could use another two shock regiments. I don't think I can get two. I can get two. That's done. Beautiful. Very nice. Uh, group up and take me out of them. And take Braggy out of them as well. And just in case it actually does it nicely, we'll just do that. Uh, those are going to cost us a fair amount of money while they reinforce. Uh, we're still at half reinforcement rate. Which means maybe they won't. But that's actually given us a very nice um, 1500 man army. Which is excellent. Alright, let's go raid Venice for money. Because we're not shy of it. Very good. Also it seems like the sound has died in, in game. So hopefully that's not too much of an issue. And uh, well... You can listen to the lovely, lovely tones of my computer murmuring along in the background. I have no idea if that's actually getting picked up by the mic. I'm just going to move and see if it does. might play it back and do the recording. Let's see. You guys getting that? Oh, that's lovely. Mmm. Lovely radiator fans. Alright. I may be a little bit high from medication. So let's continue. It's giving us the option to righteously imprison this dude, but we just did that like a little while ago, so, you know. I don't particularly care about the stuff he's got either, because he only owns Holstein at the moment, and counties within Holstein. Really don't give too much of a shit, he's going to die at some point and give land to this guy. I don't want him to do that, I want him to actually have children. So that doesn't happen. We've got a du jour claim on Lundberg. It's still a thing, but Pomerania is part of the uh, monstrous coalition or set of coalitions against us. Wonderful. Let's just go back to tech real quick. Um, the only thing we're looking to advance in culture at the moment is majesty. We will do legalism at some point, but we're getting that from, uh, you know, everything else. So that's fine. Um, we'll probably look to increase these ones at some point in the future once we actually feudalize um, Stoller is fatigued yeah he's probably got cancer just like me like father like son kind of hope I get over that uh, what else do we have we can create the usual two counties two duchy titles I don't want to but if we created Scania we might be able to take this guy's land off him Rafika is pregnant. Good. She's a cute one. Vov. I mean, they're all cute. Do I still have three Nubile concubines? Yep. Good. Perfect. Just has just built something. So let's go to Just and see if they can build anything else. Nope. They would need 500 prestige. That's coming along because we have a massive amount of prestige gain. Like, truly massive. Uh, and Bergenholm, uh, you can't build anything, and you're already building something there. We need to just check out these places to see which of them actually have temples. Skane has a temple. You know what? You got a temple, you can have a church. That'll increase my piety, which honestly doesn't really matter too much at this point in time. But, uh, fuck it. Always good to have. While I'm not really spending money on anything. Um, important decisions, yep, sure. And we've got a county claim that can be pressed in Auvergne, but fuck it. Okay, this kid needs a guardian. Looks like he's good at military matters. Excuse me. Yeah, so currently it's Tuesday? Tuesday. But for me, it was Tuesday. But Sunday was like the hell day of this particular um, bout of hay fever. 
I do get them semi-regularly. Which one is Skein? That one? Jeez, that's really unadvanced. I don't want to advance it yet. We've got to keep just on the uh, menu. What's our uh, maximum haul here? 770. That's pretty good. We'll burn Venice to the ground. And then come back. Um, if this guy wants to come along, yep, sure, we'll save him. It's not a problem. Yep, good. That guy's being really useful to us in, um, our diplomat is being really useful to us down south in, um, the Byzantine Empire. Uh, quick check of this shit. It doesn't look like anybody's anywhere near getting a plot through. Good, and nobody of importance seems to be plotting. No factions, religion is fine. We really do want to retake Volan just for the sake of it. And of course, societies isn't a thing that we can do. Those retinues aren't actually costing us a lot. Okay, this guy's inherited land. Yep, that's cool. Good on you, mate. I feel like we could um, actually put Retinue Reinforce up. Whoa, that's a monstrous difference. In fact, that will probably... Yeah, whatever. Ooh, what's happened here? Piss off, piss off, piss off, piss off. What's this? Ah, they must have finally left the um, realm. Um, Should I use up that? What's that going to cost us? 50, 100 gold, gives me 50 prestige, and I'll give it to whoever holds these places. Yeah, done. You, buddy. You will want to be the Jarl. Yep, Jarl of Sidreya. That does bring back memories. I used to play um, one of my first games in the Old Gods expansion was as Ivar the Boneless, who starts as Jarl of Sidreya. Uh, Ivar the Boneless being one of Ragnir's generated sons in that particular part. He obviously didn't happen here. But yeah. Poor old Ragnar. He was good. But I'm better. Also, did I just say that he converted to fucking Silmanesco? You prick. No longer cool, Ragnir. No longer cool. <sighs> Things I have to put up with from my children. Okay, this man I need to arrest, and another I need to assassinate. Hmm. Let me increase the rest chance and up the prosperity of my capital. Pretty sure we're at max prosperity over here. There we are, three points. I think three points is the highest. You can't go above boom. Wait. Yeah, you can't go above boom, surely. Uh, what's happening here? Oh, these fuckers are raiding us. That's fine. I don't particularly care. I don't think they're going to take anything of mine. We'll see shortly. Oh, we got 500 prestige. That's good, because it means we can come down here to Tejust and upgrade the war camp. What's this? Nope. Okay, I think we're gonna... Ah, good. Daughter from the Concubine. We might raid Corsica again. Uh, it depends on whether we've actually got troops there, because last time we went around they had a lot of troops there. But, I mean, there's always the usual breadwinners of Amalfi, the Pope, and um, Genoa. <laughs> sure do. And as I've probably previously discussed, the Pope very rarely has any allies. He relies on nobody normally having a Cassus Belli against him. Normally what happens with the Pope is for somebody to take his land, they need to declare a holy war or something like that. Um, if they're a holy war or a crusade, in which case 
Yeah, okay, so maybe we lost seven gold there. Fucking, I don't give a shit. It's a bit of a pain in the ass because they do actually loot the place. But, you know, look after yourselves, guys. Has anybody dropped out of these damn defensive packs? Pictlin did. The Pope hasn't yet, which is frustrating. Just have a look. What sort of... How am I truces? Truces, truces, truces. Holstein, and that's it. So we could attack Pickland for um, one of these two places. And once we get... Oh, well, one of these three places, actually. Yeah, because now they own NC Orkney. I mean, we're going to grab all three of them at some point. <laughs> I might go for Fortru next. I mean, either Alban or Fortru would be... Like, that would make sense. Oh, also the Isle of Man. Either one of those two would make sense because we'd either be just taking a bit more off the edge or cutting them in half. The problem there, of course, being that um, it'd just raise our threat more. I think it would be better for us to enact our papal plan. So I'm going to wait out the threat. I'm not too sure if I've described the papal plan. But I remember it really well, so we'll just go through it when it happens. I don't need to uh, describe it in order to remind myself of what the hell it was, like I do so many other things. Church infrastructure in Alland increased? We don't have a church in Alland, so it doesn't matter. Our cultural advances are probably our weak point because our learning, not our learning, our um, diplomacy is so low. Well, my son died of cancer. I'm still going all right. Jeez, you really are doing well down there, Yarl Ormir. We've got a uh, defeat up here. Yeah, I don't think that actually cost me money. That's fine. Don't care. Also, by taking for trail, we'd actually... Unites to Dreyar with Argyll. <sighs> no. I've got a plan. I know what it is. It's going to work. And it's going to let us take all of Pickland at once. Which kind of probably gives most of it away. If we're being totally fair. By God, somebody is going to be really pissed off with me when I do that. This guy right here, or this guy right here. One of the guys, just the Pope. At the time, the Pope will be annoyed with me. Oh, good. Those sieges are all over. Bring them back. Boats are about, what, half full? That's nah, not good enough. Head on around to Amalfi. Uh, give me a look at epidemics. Are uh, we good? Now is a Malfi this time of year, boys. Looks pretty goddamn nice, to be perfectly fair. Oh, and 50 tech points from our friends in Constantinople. Military. That, I feel like that went to culture. Which, that's fine. Alright, how we doing in here? Yeah, looking good. Land. My grandson is a mastermind theologian. Is he culturally a, um... Yeah, culturally, well, he's of Bulgar descent. That's cool. Still Norse. All right. We've got non-aggression pact with the Byzantines. I always forget that. They're just constantly forgetting that. All right. How you doing, Pope? A lot of dudes. Burn it to the ground. So, it's just such a huge amount of dudes in that church. I'm quite happy to just sit there on top of him. Fuck him. Now we've got a child who needs a guardian to this kid. He's quick. Um, he's too good to waste on a learning degree. 
So I feel like we're going to educate him in... We don't have any decent diplomats. Military. I'm going to do it. Thank you. Yep. Just keep on crushing. It's a shame we don't have any siege masters. Oh, he's got a hospital. Nice. And we've got some people trying to marry my daughter. I mean, would you kindly fuck off? Fucking revolt leaders and all this sort of bullshit. Okay, we're at 10.8 percent. That's doing pretty well, to be honest. Nope. Need a new steward. Old one must have died. Well, this guy. I mean, he's on his last legs, but 23 is pretty nice. This guy here, however, wants to be steward, and he'll probably be it for a lot longer. So let's just pick him, and he can build legend in there. Keep on smuggling food and supplies into this place. It's not going to help them. They're going to lose. We've got a daughter to some people. My grandson. So now she's my kinswoman, not my uh, grandchild or whatever. And the bonus is the longer we wait on these tech things, the cheaper they get because that a head penalty goes down. Yeah, I'll claim that to be the reason that we're holding out. Oh, look, we've actually gained a few more points here. That's cool. We might try and get cavalry at some point. We don't have a lot of cavalry, and generally that gives us heavy cavalry, which is nice. We're shit at cavalry, but that might give us incentive to get better. Maybe. I mean, it's a prospect. Got nothing to modify down here. Cool, I'll get to that in a second. We can't do that because our legalism isn't high enough. Not that it would matter at the moment. Um, I was looking at tech. Culture? No, that went to military. That's cool. That's cool. I'm going to hold out for siege equipment or uh, light infantry next, though. Come on, just burn it down. Then we've got to get through fucking Tusculum as well. Tivoli isn't an issue, but Tusculum's a pain in the ass. Quick check of the plots. Oh, what's that one? That's just a claim fabrication, that's fine. Yeah, nothing else here worth mentioning. Cool. Oh, good. We took Roma. It's a lot of money out of that place. Now we're slowly going to take Tusculum. We might bail before the time's up because, you know, it depends on how much we actually loot out of there. Fuck off. We could also go and hit Genoa. But I think I'd prefer to just sit on Rome and like be all like, fuck the Pope. Another 50 tech points from Constantinople. This went to economy. How useful. <coughs> Excuse me. An increase in construction to reduce build time would be nice, but it only affects our capital province at this point in time, which is not where we are building things. We're not actually building things in any of the capital duchy, so that's useless to us. Piss off. Yeah. Unfortunate, but that's just how things happen. How you doing in here, buddy? Hmm. What's it, 15 to everybody else? No, I can't have that. How are you looking after this place anyway? Really well. Wow. Huh. 
I'm going to give him a church town. Yeah. Uh, this guy, the chief of Vedria, has declared a holy war for Munster on this guy. Who is the... Oh, wonderful. So this guy's declared on this guy. That's cool. I hope you succeed. This guy's already at war with some other people. Yeah. And because it's a holy war, no doubt all of Ireland is going to get on that guy's side and kick the shit out of my buddy. <coughs> and I don't think I can join in on his, uh, on his behalf. Offer to join war. Yep. Because it's not a crusade or a jihad. Or supporting claims outside of my realm. Jeez, I don't know why all these people are dying of cancer. I mean, it's not that hard to stay alive. Come on, guys. Lift your game. See, Vitabo will probably give us a fair amount of cash. We're doing pretty well. You look like you'd be good at learning, unfortunately. So instead, I'm going to try and educate you in diplomacy. Yeah. And just quickly go through the prisoners list. Any adults? No, these guys like us. Who's your lead? Jarl Austin. Why are you in jail? Can we ransom her? No. No. We only ransom that one, and he doesn't like us for some reason. Well, fuck it. They can go free. Why don't you like me, mate? Imprisoned. Oh, yeah, the usual. Imprisoned, infidel. Imprisoned, infidel. Can I force these guys to convert? I don't think I can. Annoying. All right, these are people from Venice. Ten gold, that's not enough. Ten gold, not enough. Sorry, boys. You're staying in jail. Or girls, as the case may be. Hang on. I saw some kill messages in there. That's getting pretty close to being a fuck off, mate. So end your damn plot. That one there is also getting pretty damn close to being a kill. So get rid of that. Okay, you're trying to kill Ragnar here. Stop that. You're trying to kill the High Chiefess. Stop that. You're trying to kill Rafika. I cannot tell you to stop, but it's only a 29%, so go fuck yourself. What else do we have? And you're... My granddaughter is trying to kill my grandson. Come on, guys. Enough of that. Got enough damn problems. And we've actually got the blot time is back. What, before March, after November. We'll keep that in mind. And we'll probably, probably forget it. This one has said that we can't stop her. Uh, it's viewed as tyrannical, unfortunately. She must have stopped it already, by some other means. Yep, cool. Yep, that's right. War camp built in just. All right, let's have a quick look. I'm pretty sure Ostergotland has stuff to build. Does the 600 and 500? Sort of manland should be done. Yep, so it's Ostergotland just Gotland in that region. Um, well, I'll build something in. Oh. Yep, Gregarious. That's good. Just lost, um, what, five prestige because of that and just got it back. So, Weaponsmith for you. And come on, two more ticks for Tusculum. One more tick. There we go. And we kidnapped this dude. This dude. And that's it. 
Parents have been back for 14 and 14. Yeah, no, nah, we'll keep them on hand. We're going to have a blot soon. We're going to have to execute someone. It's not just not a feast if you don't, you know, murder people. What do we have here? Child lacks a guardian. Oh, I'm going to do him in diplomacy as well. Just to try and... Oh, hey, we actually just got a grey eminence. Nice. I think we'll start the blot up, have the human sacrifices, and then call it an episode. So begin the blot. Thank you. This guy is a Christian. Demand religious conversion. Thank you. And I think he's going to be the only one. Demanded off his wife? No, we can't. Human sacrifice time. Good. Now, your vassals, you don't actually have any vassals, so that's fine. If you had vassals, we might have to check them. Dead. Next. Dead. 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 Is that it? Yep. Beautiful. So that was a quick, like, 200 prestige. Um, okay, apparently Ingemar was just fucking one of the servant maids. That's probably not a very healthy thing to do because he's got syphilis by tear. Yeah, Striker of Nidoros. Oh man, Striker is such a good... Why do you not have control of Helegoland? Transfer Vassalage. Chief of Helegoland. He's the only one. Are you happy now? Yeah, good enough. Uh, we need a guardian for this kid. Oh, I think we just got a new Grey Eminence, didn't we? Yep, there we go. And was that it? Uh, we also need a new Chancellor. Well, Hemming, good news. Yep, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Get rid of that. All right, how are we doing? All right, let's call that an episode. So, as usual, I've been Sub, you've been yourselves. Later.